Hi, I'm Barbara Rimkunis, and this is your Exeter History Minute. For a town that's never been the site of any military battles, Exeter seems to be loaded for bear. What's with all the cannons in town? There are five big guns decorating various locations. How did that happen? Well, first off, they're oddly all naval guns. The cannon that stands by the Winter Street Cemetery is locally known as the George Leonard Smith gun. Smith, who was born in Exeter, had a lengthy career in the Navy beginning in 1894 when he entered the Naval Academy, serving in three wars, the Spanish-American and both World Wars. In 1912, while in charge of the Ordnance Drafting Room at the Washington Navy Yard, he helped develop the breech-loading mechanism on this gun and most of the others that were used by the Navy. This particular gun was donated at the request of Smith to the town of Exeter. It was originally located in front of the county courthouse on Front Street, arriving in 1946. Twelve years later, in 1958, the Rockingham County Commissioners asked the town to move it, saying it really wasn't an appropriate ornament to stand in front of a hall of justice. It was then moved to Court Street and stood in front of the rec center until 2000, when at the request of George Leonard Smith's daughter, Joy Smith Starr, it was moved again to its current location near the Winter Street Cemetery. The cannons that stand on the grounds of the American Independence Museum are also naval guns. After the end of the Civil War, the Navy had a lot of surplus cannons that were considered obsolete. These were offered to municipalities and veterans organizations to serve as monuments. The New Hampshire chapter of the Colonial Dames received two cannons to decorate their headquarters, which in 1896 was located in Exeter at the former Jeremiah Smith House on Epping Road. When the headquarters moved to Portsmouth in 1914, the cannons were given to the New Hampshire chapter of the Society of the Cincinnati and moved to Water Street. Now this may be a bit confusing, but the Society of the Cincinnati was instrumental in the creation of the American Independence Museum, both of which are dedicated to the study of New Hampshire's involvement in the American Revolution. The cannons, however, are from the Civil War. They do look great, though. Next we'll look at the cannons at Gilman Park, but we're out of time for now, so you'll have to watch part two. If you need a break between, check out our website at www.exeterhistory.org.